Hello again, my fellow pilots and aircraft maintenance personnel. Your host is always Haysam Ali and I'm an aviation technical instructor. Welcome to my aviation nuggets for today. Today we will speak about the locations in the aircraft in the Airbus A320 that protected from ice build up and protected from rain. Ice and rain protection system locations. Okay, so as you can see from this picture, we here see the locations that protected from ice build up and from rain to prevent a delay of the aircraft in an icing condition and rainy condition and allow the aircraft for unrestricted operation in icing and rainy condition. So, what location are protected from ice in the aircraft? First, I need to tell you that hot bleed air or electrical heating both are being used for ice protection. So some location need hot bleed air from the bleed system to protect this location from ice build up. And also some other location need electrical heating or use electrical power to heat this location or to heat this component to prevent ice build up and ice accumulation. Okay, so as you can see here, the different subsystem of the ice and drain protection system are wing ice protection. Wing ice protection. So what do you think? The wing ice protection, is it electrical heating or using hot bleed air? Yes, wing ice protection use hot bleed air from the bleed system. And exactly the three outboard slats. Slat number three, four and five because we are having number from wing root to wing tip. So only the three outboard slats need hot bleed air from the bleed system to heat the three outboard slats and the prevent ice build up on the three outboard slats. So how air or hot bleed air reaching the three outboard slats? Through a wing anti-ice valve, wing anti-ice valve. Each wing, the left wing and right wing, has its own wing anti-ice valve. It is called pressure regulation and the shut off valve. Pressure regulation and the shut off valve. From the cockpit, the pilot can select wing anti-ice by a single push button switch in the anti-ice panel. So we have only a single push button switch, wing anti-ice. On the anti-ice panel, if the pilot select it, it will open both wing anti-ice valve and allow hot bleed air to reach the three outboard slats. Wing anti-ice must be manually selected by the pilots. Wing anti-ice must be manually selected by the pilots and it can only happen in flight. On ground for maintenance operation and for test purposes, the wing anti-ice valve may open for test purposes on ground, but it will only open just for 30 seconds. Limited operation just for 30 seconds to protect the structure of the three outboard slats on ground. Okay, so again, wing ice protection use hot bleed air from the bleed system and only the three outboard slats having hot bleed air, having hot bleed air. So we have two wing anti-ice valve, one for the left wing and one for the right wing, and a single push button switch in the anti-ice panel, located on the anti-ice panel. Okay, everybody. What other location protected from ice? It is the engine air intake ice protection system. The air intake cowl of the engine, air intake cowl, is using hot bleed air for engine anti-ice. So it's each engine supply its own air intake uh, cowl. Each engine supply its own air intake cowl from the high pressure compressor of that engine. And hot bleed air from the same engine supply its air intake cowl through an engine anti-ice valve, through an engine anti-ice valve. So also we have two engine anti-ice valve, one for the left engine, the other for the right engine 
and each engine air intake cowl has its own engine anti-ice switch in the cockpit so we have two engine anti-ice push button on the anti-ice panel okay so we can have a summary that wing ice protection and engine air intake ice protection both use hot bleed air for ice protection system for ice protection system as i mentioned before we may also use electrical heating for ice protection what location need electrical heating for ice protection the probe probe ice protection use electrical heating probe ice protection use electrical heating windshield ice protection use electrical heating the captain windshield and the first officer windshield also use electrical heating and also the drain mast ice protection depend on electrical heating so probe ice protection windshield ice protection and the drain mast ice protection depend on electrical heating depend on electrical heating so let's go somewhere in deep in the probe ice protection how the probe is heated the heating process for the probes are depend on a probe heat computer and as we have three probe system captain probe first officer probe and standby probe because we have three other you three air data inertia reference units so also we have three probe heat computer control the heating for each set of probe bhc1 for captain bhc two and three for the first officer and standby probes so what probes which are electrical heated what probes angle of attack sensor beetle probe static boards and the tad probe again angle of attack sensor beetle probes static boards and the tad total air temperature probes okay so it's a probe heat computer control the heating to the heater in, into the probe if it is angle of attack uh, be to static or tat be to static or tat okay so i can say that probe ice protection windshield ice protection comes up automatically when at least one engine is running so probe ice protection and windshield ice protection don't need to be manually selected by pilots they have only one push button switch called probe window heat and this push button switch have an auto legend behind it what is meant by auto the probe ice protection and windshield ice protection or probe heating and windshield heating comes up automatically when at least one engine is running or comes up automatically when at least one engine is running okay everybody so what about windshield ice protection we have windshield for the captain and windshield for the first officer three windows front windshield side windows which is a sliding window and fixed window they are electrically heated so we have captain side windshield and first officer side windshield so we have two window heat computer two window heat computer one for the captain side and the other for the first officer side okay so window heat computer one and two control the heating of their dedicated window side their dedicated window side the windshield is protected from overheat by a temperature sensor we have a main sensor and a spare sensor to prevent overheat of the windshield to prevent overheat of the windshield and the windows are heated uh, with a low power on ground and high power in flight okay everybody so what about rain protection for the windshield for rain protection for the windshield we have wipers two independent wiper system controlled by the captain and first officer they are independent and there is a rotary selector to control the wipers each wiper selector do have 
low speed or fast speed. Also for rain protection for the windshield, we may have on board the aircraft the rain repellent system. Rain repellent system, which we, we do have a chemical in the rain repellent canister that do spray on the windshield in case of heavy rain that will mix with water and allow the water to be very small circle droplets that can easily be dispersed by wind during flight during flight okay everybody you need to know that the wipers the wipers can operate safely up to 200 knots okay drain mast ice protection also is depending on electrical heating is depend on electrical heating we have a forward drain mast and after drain mast the function of the drain mast is to drain outside the aircraft overboard the water coming from the wash basin from the lavatories and the galleys from the lavatories and galleys forward the lavatories and galleys drain water to the outside of the aircraft overboard coming from the wash basin through the forward drain mast and aft lavatory and galleys drain to the overboard through the aft drain mast through the aft drain mast this drain mast must be electrical heating to prevent the blockage by ice and to always allow the water coming from the wash basin from the lavatories and galleys to go overboard or to be drained overboard okay everybody what about the ice detection system we have a basic ice detection system and an optional ice detection system. The basic ice detection system will depend on a probe between the captain windshield and first officer. It is called a visual indicator. If the captain or first officer see ice build up on this visual probe or indicator probe, so they know that they are flying in an icing condition and they may switch wing anti-ice or engine anti-ice or both of them okay so what about the optional ice detection system the optional ice de detection system is depending on electronic ice detector electronic ice detector these electronic ice detector if they are uh, purchased by the operator they will be located on the forward of usage and they are a vibrating rod ice detector depending on the frequency coming from the vibrating rod if the vibrating rod of the ice detector having ice built up the frequency will go down and an ice detected message will come on ecam or severe ice detected will be showed on the ecam asking the pilot to switch on engine anti-ice or both engine anti-ice or wing anti-ice in case of severe ice detected so the electronic ice detector are optional but the probe or visual ice detector is basic also we have some water lines and some waste lines do have electrical heating as an ice protection system to prevent disease uh, lines from blockage and allow always the water and waste line to be good and prevent blockage of these lines okay so from here all of this depend on electrical heating electrical heating and the wing anti-ice and the engineer intake anti-ice depend on hot bleed air depend on hot bleed air okay everybody thank you for your good listening and always fly safely and maintain your aircraft very safely and please stay tuned for an upcoming sessions like this your host is always Haysam Ali and I'm an aviation technical instructor thank you for your good listening and I will meet you again very soon bye bye